we are at AJ Fernandez Cigars. We're gonna do a cigar tour, so um, this is pretty cool. And uh, they don't sell their cigars in Nicaragua, but you get two cigars with the tour. Ricardo gets to smoke my two cigars because I don't like cigars. <laughs> This is our tour guide, and your name is? Mario. Mario. Yeah, like a Mario Bros. Yeah. <laughs> this way, please. Cigars has two characteristics. Body and strength. Body, flavor, aroma. Strength, amount of nicotine inside the cigar and inside the tobacco. The variety. Imagine the tobacco plant like a pyramid. We have three layers. We have seco, visual, and ligero. Seco leaves, those leaves are the oldest ones. The plant is taking out nutrients. They don't have much body nor much uh, strength. The main function is helping on the burner. Visual leaves, those leaves are in the middle of the plant. They have a lot of starch, a lot of sugar. They give you the body, flavor and aroma. Mm -hmm. And top of them, ligero leaf, the youngest one. Those leaves, they are building up the tissue. That means they have more protein, they have more nicotine. People don't know that nicotine is produced only on the roots of the plant and translocate to the plant through the vascular system. So the younger the leaf, more nicotine is found. Those leaves are gonna give you the strength. Now, after the curing process, with this uh, fixation of color, we start the fermentation. Fermenting the leaves the in fermentation. here. Fermentation. Now, we divide the fermentation in three steps. The first one is when tobacco comes in the field. The second stage is when tobacco is giving this um, this sweetness inside. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it could be like a cranberries. And the last stage is when tobacco is giving you the body, it's gonna have at the end of the process. Mm -hmm. Between the second and the third stage is when a man starts being producing. One byproduct of the fermentation is ammonia. So, usually fermentation starts between 80, 88 uh, Fahrenheit. When they reach 100, 110, we need to break apart the pilon and put it back together. <coughs> this is when we get rid of ammonia. Remember, ammonia is naturally produced in the, in the tobacco. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can really smell it in here. <laughs> this, this tobacco, this one has like a one year. Mm -hmm. smell? Wow. Can you smell that? <laughs> you can see how, mm -hmm. how sweet it is. Mm -hmm. It's because the cellulose is being baked in the part. That was really strong smelling that, yeah. <laughs> now, mm -hmm. after the fermentation, we go to the next step with this uh, sorting of the leaves. And here they're sorting the leaves. This one doesn't go this way. It's off. No. Now, after the fermentation, the body comes here. Here we start sorting. We are looking for seco bases and ligeros. Uh, big, small, and medium leaf. Uh, two categories, which are whole leaf and broken. Sano y roto. Now, exist like uh, four, three kinds of cigars. You have a, a long filler, cigar made with whole leaf. You have a short filler, cigar made with chunk of leaf. You have Cuban sandwich, which is a mix of long and short filler. And you have machine mixing. Now, here we take out like 30% uh, of the main vein. This part is not going to burn, it's too thick. We get rid of it. But we need the rest of the vein for two reasons. First, a structure. When we make the cigar, we wanna see this head on the jerk. Something like this. This helps to create a net that pulls together the ashes. Longer the ashes is an indication of quality. It means that the, uh, it's a long filler, has its internal structure. Uh, it helps on the burner, make the, the burner cooler, you have better flavor. And the other reason is strength. 
Think about this like uh, the veins and arteries of the plant. Nicotine, remember nicotine about traveling the sap? So a lot of sap in here. Mm. So that means nicotine. Now, this is secondly, the first one. Feel the texture. Now, visual leaf, the second one. And visual, right in the top. You see how it changed? Yeah. Completely? We are one of the three capital of tobacco in the world mm -hmm. by El Cibao in Dominican Republic, uh, Pinal del Rio in Cuba, and Estelín Nicaragua. We can make any cigar on demand using only Nicaraguan production. But again, tobacco after what? That means, according to the soil, the weather, the fermentation, the variety, they're gonna give you profiles that we cannot recreate because come from, again, come from the soil, the weather. Mm -hmm. You can see that more stress here with wrapper. Buenas. With filler, we play with moisture and temperature. Not that big deal. But here, everything has to be perfect. Too much water to change uh, the, the color. Too much mm -hmm. temperature to change the flavor. That's, that happens end of the game. There is nothing you can do about it. And remember, this is the expensive of the loop. So this is the room where they have the wrappers? Yeah, the, we fermented the wrappers. Okay, fermenting you the wrappers here. Something. I was telling him I grew up in Pennsylvania with the Amish, and the yeah, Amish grow a lot from, of tobacco. Uh, United States. And they buy from the Amish in Pennsylvania. Yeah. They what? make a wonderful tobacco. Yeah, yeah. One of the best. Oh, yeah. good, good. Of course, we fermented them, but uh -huh. yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's a okay. good variety. Actually, good. it's one of my favorites. Usually, mm -hmm. uh, remember I was saying that each country has a signature? Mm -hmm. The signature of the United States is fruitiness. Usually tobacco coming from the States have this like a peachy mm. taste and yeah. then cit okay. some citrusy. Yeah. Really good. Huh. Really good. Cool. Okay. So this is the aging of the tobacco. So this is where they no. age it now. Incredible. <laughs> this place is full. Now, what happened with aging? We increase body, but we decrease strength. So more time tobacco spent here. It's gonna taste better, mm -hmm. but it's gonna be, become mellower. So this is another thing you have to take in mind when you design the cigar. Here is when the uh, the master blender start working. The master blender is the guy who designed the cigar. Mm -hmm. have, to, have to have some question in his mind. What kind of cigar he wants? A cigar for before, after, during meals. He want to uh, pair with something. Uh, what is it? Something could be coffee, could be uh, bourbon, could be rum. Mm -hmm. So he need to open each one of these bales and start tasting the cigar. The, sorry, the tobacco. Wow. To see if they reach what he is looking for to make a blend. And in this room, they're making the cigars. This is a massive room. Full of people. Look at this. Now. This is a difference between Cuba and Nicaragua. In Cuba, it's just one guy, El Torcedor, who makes a cigar. Here we have a team. We have a buncher, we have a roller. Mm -hmm. The buncher, bunch, make the bunch, which is the filler, plus the binder. And the roller is in charge of putting the wrapper. Mm -hmm. He's making the blend, different proportion of second is only here. Now, the blend. Different proportion of seco, viso, and ligero. Ligero right in the middle, followed by viso outside seco.
do they do with all the little scrap pieces then? We sell them to our companies that they use them for making cigars. Remember oh. I told you that they are machine made cigars? Yeah. That's what you use for making those cigars. Oh, okay. When the when the, uh, the molds are full, come here. We put the press for um, an hour. After half hour, we open the vitola, flip the cigar, and put it back for the rest of the time. When they're ready, okay. come to the uh, roller. Okay. How many cigars are produced a day here? Yeah, it's, it that depends on what. Okay, on average. Uh, in average, it could be like uh, 80,000 cigars. 80,000 cigars in this room in one day. It's incredible. We have an annual production of 42 million cigars. 42 million every year. Wow. Incredible. Everything is fine. Quality control. Cigars come here. What we do here, this is it's a kind of humidor. Mm -hmm. We dry the cigar. Remember, when they come from production, they have like a 20% moisture. We drop that to 14, 13%, which is optimal for uh, cigars. The other thing we do here is marrying of the leaf. You have different kind of leaf. Remember, Seco Viso Ligero uses a filler binder or wrapper. Those leaves could have uh, different aging. Uh, there are going to be different varieties, uh, so that means they're going to have different uh, station oil, different flavor, different aroma. They need to start working together. This part is more like a blending the scotch. Mm -hmm. Okay. You mm -hmm. let them rest for at least a month, month and a half. Mm -hmm. Now, when this room is full, we have one million cigars. A million cigars in this room. Amazing. And we have two rooms. You know why we have two rooms? Why? Because we can. <laughs> when they have the bundle. Where we put the rings. Mm -hmm. We have marks at the side of the rule. They indicate in what position the ring has to go. The movement can uh, break apart of the wrapper. The other one, this is not plastic, it's paper, it breathes. Moisture can get in and out, but really, really slowly. So this is not a plastic wrapper, it's a silicone wrapper. It's a cellulose. Cellulose wrapper, okay. It's not plastic, it's cellulose. No, and this is my tip mm -hmm. for finishing the tour. If you are going to smoke the cigar right away, maybe in a, in a week, mm -hmm. two weeks, take out the cellophane. It's gonna be seasoned, of course, in a humid. It's gonna be seasoned faster. But you plan to keep the cigar for a long time, a year, maybe more, leave the cellophane. Okay. You're gonna protect the cigar. Think about this like a life insurance. It's better than have it. I don't need it, I need it and don't have it. <laughs> okay. And with this, we end it too. I hope you enjoy it. It was awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. This is amazing. And look how many girls are in here, guys, wrapping and sorting. 80,000 cigars a day. This is amazing. I love my life. Come join me in front of this famous painting in Esteli, Nicaragua.